My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we all must be very joyful, graceful and cheerful because the Lord is truly risen. Hallelujah. To Him be glory and power for all the ages of eternity. Alleluia, Alleluia. The readings of the day gives us very important message to proclaim to the entire world which is in need of God's grace and mercy. As a Baptist Christians, we have much responsibility in front of us to witness to the Lord of life and resurrection. The world today is walking in darkness oppressed by the devil and its ambassadors, doing all kinds of evil things without any values. The people who are not believing in Jesus Christ and in his resurrection and in his judgment are trying to confuse our faith and belief in the gospel of the Lord and in his preaching, teaching and appearances to all the chosen people. According to the plan of God, we are all traveling from the earthly home to the heavenly home in and through Jesus Christ. Those who believe and have faith in the resurrection of the Lord will surely experience the resurrection and will inherit the kingdom of heaven. But after all this preaching and exhortations, still Many people are neglecting the fact and the truth and trying to be unfaithful and are trying to be the followers of the devil and its kingdom. The main reasons why the people are believing and depending on the worldly things and pleasures. Thirsty for position and comfort. Thirsty for money and properties and luxurious life and enjoyments, thirsty for attachments and bodily pleasures, thirsty for beautifying oneself and concentrating on the temporary life, thirsty for placing idols in various forms and believing in them as truths, thirsty in saving the perishable bodies and completely living in sinfulness. As we are all celebrating the Easter, the Lord is risen from the dead to rise each one and give to each one eternal life. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning. While it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb, but Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. 
Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, only by believing in the Lord we have the resurrection and we all will be into heaven. But all those who neglect their soul and do not believe in the Lord and in his resurrection will be thrown into the eternal fire and will have no resurrection to the life and will be taken to the judgment. So let us all have the faith and proclaim to the world that the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord Jesus Christ, you are truly risen. We praise you. We thank you. We worship you. You have risen from the dead to give us that resurrection, to give us eternal life. Bless all the people in the world, all the families, so that we may believe and repent and have the resurrection experience. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Wishing you all happy Easter and the blessings of the Lord. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.